So Google just announced the Fitbit Charge 5 and here is everything new. So let's start off with the design and it almost looks like a hybrid between the Fitbit Lux and the Fitbit Charge 4. It retains the rugged design of the Fitbit Charge that we've known for so many years, but it's not as fashion focused as the Lux and it's more expensive than the Lux as well. Also, the Fitbit Charge 5 has entirely lost physical buttons. Up until now, we had a side button on the Fitbit charges, but now it's entirely gone in favor of only using the screen. And it also comes in some new colors. So speaking of the display, this one is a lot better than the already good Charge 4. So now it's a full color screen, not a grayscale screen like we've had this entire time. And it's also fully interactive. Uh, you can tap, swipe everything as it's been since the Charge 3. It's also two times brighter and it's finally an always on display, or at least always on can be enabled. Up until now, the only Fitbits that supported the always-on display were the smartwatches, namely the Versa line and the Sense. But it's great to see this come over to their trackers. It's also got a couple new features, and mostly they are health-focused ones. So first off, the daily readiness score. This is only with premium, although with a purchase of a new Fitbit, I think now you get six months of free premium. Basically, it takes data from your sleep and your heart rate and lets you know in the morning if you should do a workout or just recover. There's also another premium feature, which is the stress management score. So on your watch, there is now an EDA scan app, which stands for electrodermal scanning. And you can get detailed breakdowns of stress management within the mobile app. The Fitbit Charge 5 now also has ECG, although it is recommended that you don't use it unless you're at least 22 years of age. Keep in mind that some of these features are not going to be available at launch, like the ECG and daily readiness score, and some of these features are only going to be available in select countries. Now, this is the second watch that Fitbit has released ever since it's been acquired by Google. And if you don't already know, Google does make an OS for Android smartwatches that is called Wear OS. Now, neither the Lux or the Charge 5 have Wear OS. They are fitness trackers. I think they're still running on Fitbit's own OS. But what's more exciting is what we can see from the smartwatches. Now, what I've noticed is that the line between the fitness trackers that Fitbit offers and the smartwatches is starting to get a bit blurred. For example, with the Fitbit Charge 5, it already had uh, paying from your wrist but now it's also got an always on display it's brighter it's got a bunch of these new apps that are generally only on smartwatches and what i think this means is that since fitbit has been acquired by google this basically might be paving way for google to transition in its own wear os watches as they phase out the fitbit sense and the versa line i mean really the fitbit charge 5 is almost the same as the versa it's only missing a couple custom smartwatch faces and a couple apps but for anyone who's buying that for fitness and health it should really be enough so yeah, I think that Fitbit merging with Google definitely has a lot of potential, and I'm especially excited for what we can see in the ensuing years. I don't know if Fitbit's going to come out with another watch this year, but hopefully 2022 will be very exciting. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and that's pretty much it for me.